<laughs> well, that's cool. Two trees grew together. I almost stepped on him. He's currently scared. He's got moss on his head. Oh, mossy baby. He blends in really well with the soil. Good camouflage. Really love this style of fern. I love it. I don't know what, it, what, what varietal it is, but it's definitely a fern. It's beautiful. Looks like a maple to me. If you look at these lower leaves as it climbs up, the, the leaves have that maple appearance. This tree here fell into this other tree. Oh my gosh, here's another one. <laughs> It's a specific varietal. You see him? Right there, coming out of his shell. Oh yeah. Alright, little buddy. Here go. Be safe. Live long. He's he's completely stretched out. Ready? Oh he. Watch, watch, watch. No, get in there. He's stretching out. Wow. Right here, he's eating something. He's a, a large banana slug, I believe. I haven't seen one that color in a long time. Yeah, he is. He's, he's literally eating something right now. Way to go, buddy. Look at this cute bridge. goes from one end to the next, so it goes from this point in the ground all the way over like a rainbow, and it's rooted in both spots. It might be a type of species of maple, but I, I'm not a tree expert. I'd have to look it up. But it's cool looking. It's 
especially with all that gorgeous moss dripping from it. We've gone 0.87 miles because of all the stopping because someone wants to film everything not saying who mm. gotta drink that auric value yeah 60,000 this is a snack we're about to eat. Heart healthy blend. Thanks, Marshalls and Home Goods combined. <gasps> That's for a squirrel. Walnuts, almonds. I forgot what that thing's called. Oh, yeah. Chickpeas, cranberries. Lots of different species of fern. You're almost stepping on a little bitty one. They get, you've got these large ones. These ones that grow out in a, a single stalk with little offshoots. The one that we saw earlier, which I don't see here right now, but I love, I love ferns. This is a hydrology stainless steel powder coated vacuum insulated bottle. You can see here, if you look down, there's a gasket inside the rim that's white in color. And it forms a seal against the 304 stainless steel alloy resists corrosion even with acidic fluids, although it will pick up a little bit of iron in your drink, which softens the taste. This is a very durable design that keeps your beverages cool for a long time by resisting heat flow due to the vacuum gap between the inner and outer wall. Or if you put warm tea in here at 135, over several hours, it'll only drop a few degrees Fahrenheit, so it'll keep your tea, green tea probably, if you're into this kind of thing, warm for longer, or hot cocoa, or whatever it is. Look how beautiful he is. Or she, it. The snail. Look how magical that looks. The way the different trees like crisscross and the creek is trickling through. I love moments like these when I'm in nature. Love it. 
It's just really pretty. A mushroom. It's very pretty. That's beautiful. This is an exquisite example of moss growing on trees. This is a waypoint map. It looks like he got turned. Point three to Southeast Crystal Creek. I believe the Issaquah Trail Center is the one we started on. Right. It says that it's 1.8 behind us. We decided to take a trail less used and there was a crash burn of a tree here. This guy fell this tree fell down here into the trail. This is the Sycamore Circle Access Point Trail. Yeah, this whole tree here came down. These are the branches that were once reaching to the sky, have crashed to the ground. You may have noticed there's a lot of trees that have fallen down, stumps that have been cut and stuff like that. This is a process called succession in forests. What happens in a forest is a tree grows up, becomes old, it dies, it falls over, and then mushrooms, bacteria, and other fungi eat and break the tree down into soil. Trees make soil. Forests are important. You can hear the water in the background. That's a river running through the forest or a, tree, a creek or a tributary. They purify the water, they stabilize the landscape with their root network, and they're absolutely important to ecology if you go to areas of the world where there are not trees, it's arid and climate floods and droughts. It's terrible. This, I think this might be called uh, a plant called devil's club. And if you get a pan of underneath, you'll see why. Because these can grow up really, really tall, like six feet or taller. Oh, I it's think. got sharp spikes. And this goes all the way up, even under the leaf. It is just... Sharp and spiky rips the skin. Yeah. If you look down here, you can see where the creek cuts through. It's beautiful. Sounds cool, too. Part of its beauty. I mine that Bitcoin, Bitcoin. All right, back to the topic. This is a natural area in King County. And these are the rules here, if you're interested. Look at the texture of this. Look how beautiful that is. All that natural, like the, the fibers of the tree that once grew there and is no more. I yeah, I was kidding. That might have been from the beer. Uh, combination. There's um, some kind of netting up there. There's a trellis in someone's backyard, maybe, or I don't know. We're looks like we're heading into suburbia. So Meg was correct. This does actually exit to a suburban neighborhood, and here are the. Uh, signs for this where stuff is located and a pretty beat up sign saying that this is maintained by the mountain trail association not appropriate for bicycles or horses just for hiking this is an example on squawk mountain in issaquah of a roadway in a very overpriced expensive area where real estate prices have gone up 400% in the last 10 years. 
They don't have a smell, but they're beautiful. Meg spotted these nifty yeah. flowers here. Look how vivid white they are. That's crazy. It's unusual to see anything that papery white in nature, other than birk barch or something. They're beautiful with all those raindrops on them. Yeah, look at look up close at the water droplets and the stamen and stem. We made it all the way back to where we started. You see how these wheels are turned in? Yeah, that way if the parking brake fails, it'll go directly into the curb and stop the car from rolling down the hill, just like this. And on a steep grade, I go. like this,